Through the years, the Hubble Space Telescope has taken us across the universe, but about 10 million Americans haven't been able to go along for the ride. They're visually impaired, seeing the world through their fingertips. A writer, an astronomer, and a Colorado school teacher have teamed up to make Hubble images visible to those who can't see. Author Noreen Grice wrote an astronomy book for the blind in 1984 called Touch the Stars, using tactile overlays of line drawings of stars and comets. When astronomer Bernard Beck Winchat saw that book, he was inspired. He saw my book in a museum store, and he thought, wouldn't it be amazing if we could do some kind of book like that for the Hubble Space Telescope? So he called me. And I thought about it, and I thought, why not use real pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope but put a transparent tactile overlay on it. That way somebody could look at the picture and see it. And if they couldn't see it, they could feel it. It would be real pictures from the, the Hubble Space Telescope just coming to life in the book. Teaching astronomy to the visually impaired takes creativity. Science teacher Ben Wentworth of the Colorado School for the Blind uses a range of special tools to help his students see the sky with their fingers. Armed with a basic understanding of astronomical concepts, students like Terry became Touch the Universe's field testers. Noreen had made the exact image of the red spot on Jupiter, but it was smaller than the actual red spot in the image. His finger transmitted the size to his brain. His brain said, okay, go out there and find this size. And he couldn't find that size. And so he was saying, you know, what we need to do then is when you put down in the legend, make it the same size as what I'm looking for in the illustration. Bernard, who was the book's science advisor, sees it as more than just a learning tool. It's more the realization that yes, there is a universe out there uh, and we can study it and we can understand it and, and you as a blind person can be a part of that. You can actually become a scientist yourself if you like and contribute to this scientific endeavor. The students see Touch the Universe as a fun way to learn. It's really cool. 